Welcome to the concise net hack video about saving your healing potions maybe right up until just before ascension to get a big boost in hit points before the end game. The concise net hack videos show you what you need to know about specific net hack areas without wasting your time. This video shows what you need to know about a quick way of getting high hit points in net hack 3.6.6. The method I cover in this video involves saving your healing potions, blessing them, then quaffing them, and a little bit of alchemy. You can often raise your maximum hit points to between 400 and 500 this way in a normal game. Some common ways of increasing your maximum hit points are first, just by gaining a level, especially if you have a high constitution. You increase your maximum hit points when you get a golden glow while praying at an altar, or when you dance with a nurse or encounter an incubus or succubus. The method I describe here I usually do after I have the Amulet of Yendor and I'm ready to ascend. I usually play NetHack slowly enough that I don't need the extra hit points before then. But I need those extra hit points, particularly on the Plane of Air and the Astral Plane. Note that when I find any blessed healing potions, I typically quaff it as soon as possible, as soon as I'm up to my maximum hit points. You don't have to wait until the end game to do this blessed healing quaffing if you have enough holy water. But if you do do it earlier, you probably want to do it again right before you ascend to use up the additional healing potions you found. So the items you need in order to do this. You should have a bag to protect your potions until you can leave them in your stash. You just can't carry all your potions with you, so you have to return to your stash occasionally and drop off your potions. You have to have a way to identify potions. You can use scrolls or spells of identify. You can use price identification. But I typically just quaff any uncursed, unidentified potions I find to identify them. You'll need up to five potions of holy water, and you'll need a way to uncurse your cursed potions, such as a blessed scroll of remove curse. And if you're going to use all of your potions of full healing, you probably want to have an extra amulet of life saving or two for the difficult ascension levels. All right, you'll see here that I'm on my stash level. That chest contains my stash, including almost all of the potions of healing, full healing, and extra healing, and also all the speed potions that I found during the game. Uh, note that some players use their healing potions during battle whenever their hit points get low. I usually don't do that in normal gameplay because potions carried in your main inventory are at risk from things like fire traps and ones of striking. And I just hate it when a nymph steals my full healing potions and uses them herself when I'm trying to kill her. Another reason I don't use them during battle is because quaffing a potion of healing just doesn't give you much health during battle. It takes a turn to quaff during which time monsters may hit you and leave you with fewer hit points than you had before you quashed that potion of healing. The same applies to potions of extra healing because uh, uh, stronger monsters can do the same, take you all the way down. Potions of full healing are nice during a battle, but I prefer having other ways of escaping trouble. And note that I do similar stashing and blessing of potions of gain ability and gain energy, but I'm not going to show that here. All right, first thing I'm going to do is check for any cursed healing potions in my stash. I uncurse them all at the same time, typically. Loot, I'll take out potions, and you can see that I have a cursed potion of full healing. Let's take that out. And I need to uncurse it. You could use a blessed scroll of remove cursed. I'm going to wield it in and uh, zap remove curse. And that cursed potion is now an uncursed potion that I'm wielding. Don't forget to wield your regular weapon again. Now I'm going to pull out all of the other potions of full healing from my stash. Uh, full healing is B. And now I am already carrying some potions of holy water. So you can see I have seven potions of full healing, five potions of holy water. I'm going to dip my full healing into my holy water. That'll use up one of my holy water. I'll end up with four potions of holy water, and seven blessed potions of full healing. Dip N into K. You can see that I have the potions I said. Now I'm going to quaff N seven times. You can see that my hit points now are at 265. Let's see what happens after I quaff seven full healing potions. Oh. Quaff N. I've gained eight hit points. Control A. Five, six, seven. There we go. 
That's raised me from 265 to 321 maximum hit points. Now let's bless and quaff my extra healing potions. I'm going to pull out A, 11 potions of extra healing. I'm going to dip capital T into K. Now they're all blessed. I'm going to quaff capital T 11 times. Quaff T. There's once. Notice I've increased again. Two, three, four, five, six. I got a Titanic there. Let's take care of that. Is that finger of death that image? I just don't want to mess with it. Offer him. My prayer timeout has not happened yet. Okay, let's continue quaffing. I have five more extra healing. T, control A for repeat. Three, four. All right, good. Now I've run my uh, maximum up to 376. I got a monster sneaking up on me. Let's wait. Oh, a nymph. Let's let her get close. Killer with a zap. Yes. All right. I'm going to pick up my potions. Drop the potions on the altar to identify them. And I don't care about that object detection, but I do care about that healing. So let's in potions. I'm going to stick that healing and the object detection in there. Now that I have quaffed, blessed and quaffed all of my full healing and extra healing, we're, we're going to deal with the healing. I could just bless and quaff those, or not even not bless those healing potions to get an extra maximum of one hit points each, but I'm going to use alchemy to convert them into extra healing and then bless and quaff them. Loot out potions. All right, I'm going to take out my now 18 potions of healing and my eight potions of speed. If you dip a potion of healing into a or up to, if you take a stack, dip a stack, a stack of healing potions into a speed potion, you'll convert between three and eight of those healing potions into diluted extra healing. Let's do that. Um, I want uh, B. And D. There we go. Okay. Looking at my potions, I'm going to dip capital N into capital T. Dip N into T. It, uh, mission, the mixture looks swirly in my case, which is uh, extra healing. Okay. And I may be out of room in my inventory, so I'm going to drop them. I'll dip N into T again. And into T again. I keep doing this till I run out of healing, either healing or extra healing potions. I'll dip in into T. Uh, that should do it. Potions. Okay. I'm gonna good. I'm gonna stash the rest of those uh, speed potions. Pick up the uh, diluted extra healing potions. I now have. 18 diluted extra healing potions. Diluted healing potions seem to work the same as undiluted healing potions. I'm going to dip N in decay to bless them. And now I'm going to quaff 18 times. Um, I'm going to quaff N, N, and 376, control A, oh wait, quaff N, control A, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Um, now, I have run my post, my uh, maximum hit points way up. I have one more blessed potion of healing. I could do the same on or just quaff it. I hope you have enjoyed this concise net hack video about how to quickly gain hit points from your healing potions. Thank you for watching.